What's up guys? So today we got Ultimate Legend Joe Horn 99 overall dual style gun and pound and speed run style. 6 foot 1, 98 speed, 100 catch, 99 release, 98 jump, 101 catching traffic, 100 spectacular, 98 elusiveness, and 97 route running. Now on paper, he looks amazing. Also has a 99 juke and a 92 spin. So, the, so he's practically a running back when he has the ball in his hands. Now, if you're wondering why this is a mini review, don't worry, I will explain all of that at the end of the video. But for now, let's get back to Joe Horn. And you know, 98 speed is no joke. Of course, it's not as good as 99 speed, but just, you know, still 98 speed is very effective as you can see right here, man. Just put him out wide, send him deep. And if you see that he's got even just a small little step on the uh, corner, just bomb it deep. You know with your quarterback of course having a quarterback that can throw a good deep pass always helps as you can see here man just using just using his 98 speed is good enough in most cases once he has the ball in his hands as you can see right here man very elusive with the spin move you can see right here with the juke move so of course i don't recommend trying to truck people or anything but if, if you're good with with a uh, juking and spinning he's going to be just great for you now of course his route running was amazing as you can see right here man got great separation so many times over and over whether it was an out route a, a curl post did not matter man he got great separation right here put him on a post split uh, split the defenders got open caught the ball and held on to it so believe me route running was very crisp now i absolutely love doing this right here putting him in the slot and putting him on a slant and watch him just burn corners over and over and over and you know obviously if you're one of those guys who loves to put his guys on slants in the slot man joe horn will just make your scheme that much better and this right here was very impressive i was very impressed with how often he came down with a spectacular catch in just a mini review and you know there are some receivers that i've done full reviews that haven't even gotten a single spectacular catch so the fact that he was able to get three or four in just a mini review very impressive now if, if you look right here to the far left man his release was very very nice so if you ever see your opponent pressing with his corner man do not be afraid to put joe horn on a streak or a, a fade and watch him just burn him and get a touchdown when it came to throwing the deep ball i almost made this his number one thing but there was one thing that he did do slightly better but believe me this was you know very good as well so if you send him deep and you see that's one on one with the corner or one on one with the safety don't be afraid man throw a lob throw a bullet watch him jump up and aggressive catch that thing and we all know how op the aggressive catch is in man 16. Now of course he did have his bad moments but by far where he struggled the most was run blocking. One of the worst run blockers in Madden 16 and that's saying a lot man. So under no circumstances do I ever recommend trying to lean on him when it comes to run blocking. But of course where he shined the brightest was catching in traffic. Whether it was the one on ones on the sideline, going across the middle and taking a smack and still holding on to it did not do so well with you know double coverage but that's fine you know if it's one-on-one -on -one men just take advantage of it every time you see right here catches it slammed to the ground held on to it for a clutch first down so of course as always guys if you pick up joe horn use him however you want to send him deep put him on slants whatever you want to just don't make him run block but anyways if you lean on the catching and traffic man you will have great success all around so that's gonna wrap up this review guys my final thoughts do i think he's worth four hundred and fifty thousand? I feel maybe he's worth like 300k and I'm not sure if his price will drop that low anytime soon especially with Madden 16 coming to an end so 460, 450 that's about what you're going to have to pay to get him on your team right now and you know for those of you wondering why this was a mini review I've decided pretty much that for the rest of Madden 16 all of my reviews will be mini reviews that way I can grind through as many as you know twice as many so anyways guys that's going to wrap this up my next review on offense will either be Thomas Rawls or Jared Goff I'm still deciding but on defense it will absolutely still be Ramsey that one might drop tonight as well most likely tomorrow but anyways guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and I will see y'all boys for the next review peace